Greetings, everyone. I welcome you once again in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. And today is Saturday, October 26th. We are almost through with the month of October. Wow, this year is really flying by. All right, well, today's topic is titled Quietness. So, <laughs> we should... Learn to be quiet. Study to be quiet, as the Bible says. Um, so let us uh, uh, learn to be quiet. Quietness is good sometimes. Uh, not speaking abruptly and uh, stuff like that. So uh, the, let's get started in that. But first, let's uh, see who the author is today. That's GG. I believe that's Guy Goodall. Let's uh, double check here. I believe that's uh, who wrote today's devotional, Guy Goodall. So let's see here. Uh, yep, GG, uh, Brother Guy Goodall from Bible Baptist Church in Hudson Falls, New York. And he is the pastor there, so praise the Lord. All right, so let's uh, get into the Bible uh, topic of quietness. And it says here in Psalm 46.10, Be still. Yes, so we are to be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. Uh, amen. Psalm 46.10. All right. So let's get started on this little topic of quietness. Uh, and he says here, distractions are all around us. Oh, that's for sure. There's so many distractions here in the USA. Um, one of those big distractions can be your cell phone or the TV or... Um, entertainment, amusement, so many distractions around us to keep us from uh, getting in God's Word and serving the Lord. So we need to learn to not uh, let these things distract us. Amen. All right. So he says distractions are all around us and Satan and the world make sure they proliferate. proliferate. Uh, and then he continues on. It affects our praying our uh, performance and our thinking yes so it can affect our praying our performance and our thinking so let's be very careful not to get distracted by anything or anyone for example uh, somebody could be trying to take you away from the lord uh, giving you ungodly counsel or trying to take your time from from things of the lord so let us uh, get rid of those distractions of the devil the flesh and the world all right, and then there's uh, earthly distractions call attention to the present, but quiet time with God calls attention to eternity. So we should always make sure we have that quiet time with the Lord, amen, praying and seeking God's face in everything that we do. And even I'm guilty of uh, not doing that all the time, <laughs> or even half the time. So let us uh, not be distracted with earthly distractions that call attention to the present but quiet time with God calls attention to eternity uh, and then again he says earthly distractions focus attention on pleasing the flesh yeah that's true and then quiet time with God focuses attention on pleasing God so let's learn to please God more and stop pleasing the flesh earthly distractions cause the love of the wrong things quiet time with god causes us to love right things amen earthly distractions create temporal uh, priorities quiet time with god creates spiritual priorities so earthly distractions create temporal priorities but quiet time with god creates spiritual priorities so that's another reason why we need to have that quiet time with the lord Amen. Uh, again, uh, here we continue on with earthly distractions. Uh, manipula... Uh, um, uh, manip uh, let's see here. Uh, malitiate, sorry. I'm trying to, trying to read that word here. So earthly distractions malitiate against doctrines taught in God's word. And quiet time with God reinforces what the Bible teaches. Amen. Uh, earthly distractions lead to making excuses 
about our behavior. <laughs> yeah, that's the truth. Quiet time with God leads us to the blessings of correct behavior. Earthly distractions direct us down the unscriptural paths. Quiet time with God directs down the scriptural paths for our lives. Amen. And finally, it says here, earthly distractions do not exalt God. They certainly don't. Uh, quietness with God exalts him. Amen. So remember, be still and know that I am God, God says. Amen. So if you like taking notes, these are uh, good to have about uh, the diff the contrast between earthly distractions and quiet time with God. So again, um, earthly distractions call attention to the present, but quiet time with God calls attention to eternity. Earthly distractions focus attention on pleasing the flesh, but God, uh, quiet time with God focuses attention on pleasing God. Earthly distractions cause the love of the wrong things. Quiet time with God causes us to love right things. Earthly distractions create temporal priorities. Quiet time with God creates spiritual priorities. Earthly distractions uh, militate against doctrines taught in God's word. Quiet time with God reinforces what the Bible teaches. Uh, earthly distractions lead to making excuses about our behavior. Quiet time with God leads us to the blessings of correct behavior. Earthly distractions uh, direct us uh, down the unscriptural paths. Quiet time with God directs down the scriptural paths for our lives. And earthly distractions do not exalt God. Quietness with, with God exalts Him. So again, let's remember, be still and know that I am God. The Lord says, Amen. All right, so we have finished with those contrasts between distractions of the earth, earthly distractions, and quietness with the Lord. So let us always make sure we have quiet time with the Lord and always seeking the Lord's face all throughout the day to help us through anything that might be distracting. Amen. All right, so now let's get into the Bible reading. And we are in 1 Timothy chapter 6 today. So if you have your King James Bible, your authorized version Bible, please turn along to 1 Corinthians chapter, or 1 Timothy chapter 6. Wow, 1 Corinthians, all right. Well, 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 1 says thus, Let us, uh, let as many, excuse me, let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor, that the name of God and his doctrine be not blasphemed. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. Amen. If any man teach otherwise, and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing, he, uh, but doting about questions and strife, strifes of words, whereof uh, cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men, of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself. So let's withdraw ourselves from these type of people. Uh, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Amen. So godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. So let's remember that. And having food and raiment, let us be therefore with, uh, therewith content. So we should be content with the food and raiment that God gives us because that is what he says we need is food and raiment. Everything else is just extra. <laughs> so, amen. <clears throat> so let us be uh, there, therewith content with these things, food and raiment. 
But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drowned men in destruction and perdition. For the love of money, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet coveted after, they have erred from the faith, and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Mm. But thou, O man of God, fl uh, fl uh, flee these things. So he says flee, that means run as fast as he can from these things. So he says, but thou, O man of God, so anybody that's uh, of God that's trusted Jesus as our Savior, we are to flee these things. And then he says, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art call, or art also called, and hath, uh, hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. And he says, I give thee charge in the sight of God, uh, who quickeneth all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable, unto, until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which in his times he shall uh, show who is the blessed and only potentate, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who only hath immortality, dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto, whom no man hath uh, seen nor can see, to whom be uh, honor and power everlasting. Amen. Amen. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Amen. There's laying hold on eternal life again. And then Paul says, O Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called, which some professing have erred concerning the faith. Grace be with thee. Amen. And it says here down here, it says the first, uh, the first to Timothy was written from Leo, uh, Laodicea, which is the chiefest city of F F uh, Phrygia, uh, Pascana. I think that's uh, what it says there. Yep. Yeah. Amen. So there you have it. That was. First uh, Timothy chapter 6, and we just finished up for First Timothy, amen, and tomorrow we'll be going into Second Timothy, and tomorrow's title for the devotion tomorrow will be titled, Being a Witness, so I hope you'll join me tomorrow for that uh, topic, amen, and now it is time to wrap up this devotional time, and thank you all for watching these devotionals, and I encourage you to go and watch them all because they're all good. Um, all these devotionals are good little devotionals to watch, and it doesn't matter what day you watch them. I know that um, they have certain dates on these, but uh, you can watch them anytime you want because they're always good to go back and watch and get edified. Amen. So uh, you can scroll down and look them up, or you can go to my YouTube page. Um, it's uh, Ambassador for Christ uh, YouTube page, and look me up and. Type in, uh, you can type in Baptist Bread Devotional and Topic and look it up that way. Um, so, or you can scroll down my page and look look it up. Uh, if you can't find, uh, if you don't want to scroll down, you can just uh, go straight to YouTube and watch these on YouTube also. Amen. So, so 
please uh, go watch them, and uh, I hope they're helping a blessing to you. Amen. So that's why I do these devotionals, so everybody can get uh, edified and learn what the Bible says and what these men say and what they've studied out. Amen. So if you would like to get uh, your own copy of the Baptist Bread devotional, the address here is 37055 Joy Road, Westland, Michigan, 48185. And their phone number is... 734-425-0466 or you can email them, email them at bb at joybaptist.com and you can order your own box of these and uh, get them and hand them out to people because these are good little devotionals right here. I know this is back, backwards but you get the idea. Amen. Alright, well this is Brother Scott signing off for today. So may the Lord richly bless you and if you have not put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, as it says here in German, Jesus saves sinners. Amen. So we're all sinners and we all come short of God's glory. So that's why we need a Savior. And that Savior is Jesus Christ, who is God manifest in the flesh, came down to this earth over 2,000 years ago, laid down his life, and was buried and rose again the third day according to Scripture. And if you believe on him and what he did... And his finished work, he will wash away all your sin. And then you can go be with him in heavenly places forever and eternity. Amen. So hope you'll trust him today. All right. Well, until next time, this is Brother Scott signing off. So bye-bye for now.